day for Chuck Knobloch. A pitcher like Haynes cannot... Top of the first, Jimmy Haynes picks him off. Things would not get better for Chuck. For the sore elbow. Bottom of the fourth, Yankees up 3 nothing, Knobloch and... will take care of it. Whoa, his Steve Sachs imitation. Error, Knobloch. Top of the fifth, back on first for Chucky. Oh, they've got him picked off again. Happens again. He was one for two. He is hitting 556. Bottom of the sixth, Yanks have a 3-2 lead. David Cohn pitching to Scott Spezio in the house. Scott Spezio out of the house. A glam slam. Oakland takes a 6-3 lead. They add another. Cohn allows seven earned runs. Well, that could almost be a double right there, but you're going to see why. Jimmy William plays him over there because <laughs> Griffey's going to show you what he can do, and I'd give up the bun any time to that man. All right, bottom two, two on, nobody down. No shift for Glenn Allen Hill, but Brian Rose gets feathered here. Glenn Allen Hill, three-run shot. The Mariners are up three-zip. And for Hill, second home run of the year. Do they have an answer in left field? Same inning, the Mariners up four-zip. The Red Sox put the shift on again, and guess what? Board of Bunching Jr. goes yard. Ball to right field and fairly deep, and Frank looks up. Just barely, but his shots now seem to be of the high fly variety. It's early. We'll Run see some line drives, I'm Swing sure. How about Rick Wilkins? Right First home run. Last two nights, the Red Sox pitching has been exposed. Not a good outing for Brian Rose. Two winnings, six hits, six. Been in the majors longer than Danny Darwin. Ouch! Back to Darwin. 21 seasons. Danny Darwin stays in. Bottom three, no score, but more pain. Jay Bell lifts one to left, a three-run shot. Three-nothing Diamondbacks on Bell second. Top seven now, 3-1. Joel Adamson was having a good day until Brian Johnson showed up. Two-run shot, first of the year. This game's tied at three. Same inning, one on, one down. Rich Aurelia, you don't have to eat it hard, you just have to put it in the right spot. Off Olsen, Sanchez scores, 4-3 Giants, they go on to win 5-3, so it's 0-5 now for the Diamondbacks. Worst start for an expansion team since against Pete Smith in the first. Oh, no home run, safe at second for the Shields. Bottom four, 3-2, two. two down, McGee's up, he's got men on. Little bloop to shallow left. Watch Chris Gomez. He never takes his eye off the ball here. Tremendous play, just great extension. You're going to see it again from another angle as he just turns and breaks full tilt. Totally extended and never takes his eye off the ball. Great play. Bottom six, still 3-2 cards. McGuire up with the men on the corners and forwards. Been there, done that. Oh. How good is McGuire? I think he's decent. I think there's some power there. They checked his arms after the game, and they were corked. The cards go up 6-2. They win 8-6. McGuire's got four home. Johnson can cover with the best of them. He gets back there and just can't hang on. Valdez will score from first. Rosalana goes to third on the error. This game is tied at one. Bottom three, still tied at one, and they are waiting for Geyser Sosa to go off. And Sammy does. First of the year, 2-1 Cubs. And Chicago goes on to win by a final score of three to one. Mulholland was there for that mess last season. Says the difference with this team from last with them and the tribe continue to hit. Top of the second, already three nothing. Kenny Lofton shoots one to left. Jim Tomey scores. Lofton has a double. Cecil Fielder came into the game batting 625. Bartolo Colon, one of his 10 strikeouts. Cecil 0 for three. Top of the fourth, seven nothing Indians and Manny Ramirez. The fly fly to left is gone. Third homer of the year. His 10 RBIs leads the American League. Top of the fifth, Travis Ryman one, came into the game cold, left. left it warm. Back Two for four. Indians win. The only undefeated team left in baseball. What Leroy Sugarfoot Bonner was to the Ohio players, Kenny Lofton is to the Indians. Four for five. Two off in a tie game. Untied. Oh, speaking of home runs. Darren Oliver hurt his neck because that thing shot out so quick. His first of the season, 3-2 Blue Jays. Mike Stanley up next. Deja do. Back to back we go for two Jays. They pound out nine runs and win by seven. Said Stanley, ever since I signed here, all I've against the Pirates. And the first batter that Rich Loisel faces is Tim Spear. He draws a walk. And Gardo Alfonso walks to load the bases. In a 6-3 game, John Olerud. Inside out me. Spear and McCray score for Olerud a double. The Mets later tie it on a Husky ground out. That's just patience. Extra innings. They're loading the bottom of the 13th. And Rich Becker, everybody was drawn in. 
The Mets come back and win 7-6 in 13. Ray, this team just seems to be in every game. How come? Well, they are in every game. Bobby Valentine, one of those disciples of the... Of the up the middle, Mark Lewis the stab. Oh, pretty behind the back pass. Double play. Jesse Relifer, double play. Take another look. That's sweet right there, baby. They practice that all the time. They never use it in the game. Well, a little bit of Still 1-0 in the top of the fifth. Greg Jeffries off to a great start. Doubles off Millwood. Green and Glanville both score. Phillies grab a 2-1 lead. 4-2 Phillies, bottom eight. The big cat with the bases loaded. And Mark Leiter comes inside. Used to play for Don Baylor. Get hit by the ball. Doesn't kill you. May hurt, may sting, but doesn't kill you. Batista scores 4 3 fills. Braves would grab a 5 4 lead on sack flies. How about Mark Rollers? Hey, Mark. He gets the job done. The Braves win it by a final score of 5 4. Give the win to facing Robbie and Alomar sharply into right center field. After Eric Davis singles, first and second. Next batter, Rafi Palmero. Hagel Wild. And everybody moves up one to second and third. Then Palmero. Takes ball four to walk and load the bases in a zip zip game. Cal is your next batter. To third, Joe Randa. Great stab. Force it second, but Alomar comes across one zip. That's the close of that. First and third, BJ Surha. Sean Runyon now in, and BJ goes to center. Eric Davis coming home. Hunter throw. No. And the Birds win by a final of two to one. Kamenecki threw 28 pitches in the first inning. And six ribbies in three games. And the lights went out of Tropicana Field. The umps and the players waited 17 minutes until God said, let there be light. Frank Thomas takes the knuckleballer out. Oh, maybe did Frank rip that. Or did he? The umpires said, let's talk about this. We have a ruling. Larry Rothschild comes out and protests the game. Tied at one. Thomas went three for four. They claim it hit a catwalk. Bottom five. Raise up 3-1. Prime dog. Airs out, Scott Air. The Griff first of the season. Tampa Bay's up 4-1, top six. Jim McKean get whacked in the head by the bat of Albert Bell. It's about all Albert hit tonight. Dennis Springer snags the line drive that would have taken his head off. The Rays win by a final score of 8-2. Thomas goes 3-4 for four with a couple of RBIs. He is batting 4-12. And the guy they want up there is Paul Molitor. pitch. Not for that, though. Six, three, DP. Royals win it by a final of three to two. Dean Palmer continues to have a torrid early part of the season. Seven for ten, a home run. Had a nice tilt. Brad Osmus to short. Nate Perez stumbles to second and then throws it into right. Hidalgo scores. Houston's up two to one. It'll be about as bad as it got for them. Dante Bichette to right. It goes off the wall. Ellis Burks, who was on, comes in to score. Colorado grabs a 3-2 lead. Your next batter is Vinny Castilla. And he gets just about none of this. Except at the corner. Bergman charges. And Bergman gets charged with the E as the Rockies win by a final score of 5-3. Bell and Berry, who came in, hitting the heck out of the ball. Bell goes one for four. Is that Full left knee. Pinch hitting duties. He's available. Jim Eisenreich right back off of Jeff Juden's glove. Double play would end the threat. Top four. Brewers up 5-1. One on. Brian Meadows gives up that double to Marquis Grissom. It scores Jeremy Burnett. The Brewers go on top 6-1. to Grissom, two doubles on the night. 6-2. Wickman facing the pinch hitter Sheffield, and he got under it. Mark Newfield waiting 10 minutes for it to come down. It's there to make the catch. And the Brew Crew going to win 6-2 the final score there. Jeff Juden?